hello friends welcome to my channel so from this video we will start the AI and ML programming and I hope you already went through other videos on Python on my channel so uh, uh, in this video we will start the numpy library which is used for data analysis and scientific computing in ML so before we start learning numpy uh, so one important thing is you have to unlearn a few things so basically this is for whole ml programming so you have to unlearn few things like we used to do the programming uh, in python or any other language but when it comes to ml we deal with data in bulk uh, not the way uh, we do in python so here where we deal with individual data but here in ml we deal with data in bulk with millions and billions of data so when we are dealing with bulk data so it becomes computationally very expensive to walk through each data one by one and that's why you can't do programming in ml like the traditional sequential way we used to through we used to do like going through the loop so in most of the operation in ml we have to implement parallelism in the code example like uh, when I need to square a metric so I don't have to go through the loop each element I can just square each element in a single cycle rather than looping through uh, each and every element in the matrix so as a principle we have to write a vectorized code in ML so that is very very important so that the compiler can understand and execute the data operation in parallel manner so as the underlying operation in numpy are vectorized so that's why like uh, all the numerical analysis is being done using a numpy so in this video we will understand numpy library and then uh, so and we will cover like advantage of advantages of vectorized code uh, using numpy uh, we will create some numpy arrays we will convert list and tuples into numpy arrays we will subset slice index iterate through arrays and then we will compare the computational time in numpy using and compare it with standard python list so let's get started so <clears throat> as i mentioned earlier so numpy is a library written for scientific computation and data analysis uh, so it stands for numerical python the most basic object in numpy is ndarray or simply an array uh, so which is an n-dimensional homogeneous array so like the way list is heterogeneous you can have numbers strings or boolean value but by homogeneous we means all the elements in the numpy array have to be same data type and which is commonly a numeric float or an integer so let's see how we can create the numpy array so uh, we simply it's it's a built-in library uh, so i'm using a google collab here it's a built-in library so uh, just start with import numpy and we're using an it's it's a universal standard used as np as an alias so we will start with this and then so let's start running the first code and then we will start with creating a 1d array we will see how the 2d and 3d array are also created so uh, so it start with uh, as i mentioned the np is the alias so np dot array and it can take a list or a tuple as an argument and then convert that into an array so if you will see here i'm passing a list and then if i just go and print this so uh, so the difference you can see is when you print the list so you see a comma, but in case of uh, NumPy array, it is a space, you don't see a comma. And uh, the way we can create a 2D array is, uh, there is, uh, so there is an outer curly braces, uh, and uh, there is an outer braces and the square brackets, and then there is an inner square brackets. So, so that's the way we create 2D array. So if I just print this out, so you can see this is a two level. And uh, so, so, Definitely, there is a huge advantage of NumPy versus List. So, as I mentioned in the introduction of this video, you can write a vectorized code on NumPy array, but List you cannot. So, which is convenient to read also and write, and it's very concise. And that's the reason NumPy is much much faster than the standard Python for doing a computation. So, 
vectorized scores typically does not explicitly do the looping and indexing etc so all these things happen behind the scenes in a pre-compiled c code and th thus it is much more concise so let's see this with an example uh, so let's say i have created two list and with the uh, four values elements in that so the way we do uh, uh, the the multiplication of these two leads in uh, so we can do by lambda function so we have called the lambda function and a map function so i already explained that in my other videos how this python function works so map is actually using a function and it needs to have an iterator so i have to list iterator and then uh, converting that into the list so if i just do a product of this so what it is doing it's looping through each value here uh, in the lambda function and multiplying and creating a new list uh, but in the numpy array we just simply do a multiplication of two array so i converted this uh, list into a numpy array and when i just run this so you can see the product is pretty simple it's just multiplying each element of of this list that is converted to numpy to this one so it all happens as single uh, iteration not basically looping through multiple times and that's the way numpy is very very fast compared to list and you can see the difference in the list there is a comma but for the numpy error there is a space so we, we can uh, do a square also so in case we want to do like a square operation also so you, uh, so in list we have to again go through the loop and then do the square but numpy you just do it at once and uh, the result will be exactly the same uh, and it's just doing with a single iteration so like all the mathematical operation it's it's basically very very fast in numpy compared to list so let's go through the way to create the numpy array so as i already mentioned you can convert the list or tuples to numpy array so if i just uh, run this code so this is a list and this is an array and if i just run this so it just converted the list and the tuples uh, into a numpy array so there are other common ways so like for an example numpy comes with some standard methods that can be used to create uh, create a numpy array in bulk so because we cannot like go through and if as, as i mentioned like it's it uh, it is used for data in bulk so that's why we there are some pre-built method that can be used so like for an example we uh, in case we want to create all the zeros uh, so all the ones so we can just call np.1 and then zeros and then we can create random number so uh, uh, and then so let's say if i want to create a array of five cross three so five is the number of rows and three is the number of columns so if i just run this so it you can see it is creating five rows so there are five rows and three columns and by default it's uh, having a float so we can convert that into an integer as well so in order to do that we have to specify the d type as an int uh, so now it will show the values in int and uh, similarly we can create some random numbers as well so i created some random numbers from uh, three to four so it is picking the random numbers between zero and one and created three rows and four columns and uh, in case like in the python we have python list we have a range but here we have a range function uh, so for an example if let's say i want to create a range from uh, 100 10 to 100 and note the 100 will not be included and with a step over of five so i can just define np dot a range and 10 as a start of the number and then end of the number and 100 will not be included with the a step over of five so if i just print this so 10 15 so it starts and uh, then there is one another important is the line space so what line space is doing is uh, you define the start of the number and end of the number and you define like how many uh, step size you want to how many numbers you want to have uh, in between this and the numpy will calculate itself that what would be the number in between if you are giving uh, that i need a length of 25 so numpy will auto calculate that like the way uh, it just uh, divide the whole between the numbers from 15 to 18 and then uh, created the 25 entries and other is the random number so let's say i want to create a huge data so 
uh, then if I specify, I can specify randomly, it will pick it up. So 100 to, so 100 rows and 300 columns. And then uh, I, let's say I want to see the second row. So as it starts with zero index, so zero one. So, uh, so it will be the second row as one. Uh, so then uh, it will print the whole complete second row. So there should be, so if I just run this, so you can see like it has the complete 300 elements as uh, uh, the value. So it, it printed the whole 300 columns in the first row. Okay, so now uh, uh, it is important to inspect the, when we have like a huge data, it is very important to inspect the shape and the dimensions and the item size. So uh, the NumPy comes with some pre-built uh, functions for this. So we have a shape. So that gives the shape of the array and the data type and the number of dimensions and the number of item size. So if I just run this, so uh, you can find like, okay, that's what is the shape, D type dimensions and the item size. So item size is basically the memory used by each array elements in the byte. So that explained the item size. And uh, let's say if you want to create a 3D array, so there is another important function in a method in uh, NumPy called reshape. So what it can do is it can convert the, uh, the 1D array into the 3D array. So what, but the important thing is it should come as a 24. So when I'm splitting this two in three and four, so, so then it should come as a 24. So two, three is a six and six was a 24. So that's why it's coming as 24. So I'm using a range. So it's basically starts with uh, zero to 23 and then splitting that into 3D array. So if I just run this, so what is happening here is the last axis is printed from left to right. Uh, so, and then uh, what happens, the second to the last axis is printed from top to bottom. And the third axis is printed top to bottom with each slice separated by another empty line. So if you will see like the two, so it is divi it divided that into two different sections. And then three is basically the number of rows in each uh, block. And then uh, the number of columns are four. So that's the way it's converting the 3D array. Uh, that's the way basically to read the 3D array. And uh, for for basically slicing the, the array, so basically you want to subset the array. So a uh, one dimensional array is similar to like the way we have the Python list. It starts with zero. So if I create a NumPy array of a value uh, 10, so it starts with zero to nine. So now the way to slice down this data is, so let's say I want to get the third element. So I have to give the, so, so as it starts with zero, zero, one, and two, so that would be the third element. And let's say I want to get a specific uh, indices. So I have to get the second and uh, I have to get the fifth and sixth. So I have to provide that in the list. I cannot just give it uh, without the uh, one square bracket. So it has to be inside the list. And and then let's say I want to slice the third elements and onward. So I will go to zero, one and two. And the same way I used to do for Python list, I can just say two dots. So it will go to the end of the uh, list and uh, end of the list. And then let's say if I want to uh, get first three elements, so again, the same way, like I start with semicolon and then uh, until the three. So start with uh, uh, start with the start of the list, uh, start of the array and then end at third. And let's say I want to slice from third to the seven. So it would be two to seven. Uh, and then let's say I want to start with zero and then increment by two. So like zero and then this should be go to the end and then increment by two. So let me run all of this together. So this is the result that I get. The iteration uh, is also similar like the way we have in the list. So like, let's say this is an, a NumPy array. So uh, I want to square it. So first of all, we don't need, we we never have to do the, we shouldn't have to do the iteration, but if I have to do so, it's the similar we do for list. So it go and take one by one element. And so now how we slice the data in 2D array. So let me create a 2D array first. So this is a 2D array. So uh, what you have to do is you have to define the, so if I want to get the third row, second column, so basically this is the third row. 
and this uh, and the second column so 0 1 so what will happen is I have to give comma separated here so second row first column so it will print out the 12th element and then let's say I want to slice the second row and all the columns so then in that case this is my uh, second row so uh, so 0 1 and then for all the columns I have to give the semicolon so what happens is as I mentioned it should be a comma separated so this is the rows and the columns so this mentioned all the columns and this is the uh, indices as one so that means second row uh, so let me run this and similarly if I have to get all the rows and third column so all the rows are semicolon and the second indices as third column and uh, let's say the interesting ways let's say I want to get all the rows and basically the first three columns so all the rows should be semicolon and for first three columns semicolon three so the uh, same way we were doing for a single dimensional uh, an empire so then we'll just go here it will take all the rows and first three columns so that's the way we do uh, slicing in 2d array and so in the 2d array when we want to loop it so it loop through the first axis so that means the row so what it is doing is it's loop through the row and take each row one by one and then print it. Uh, and if we iterate it for the three-dimensional array, so let's say I have a three-dimensional array. So let me print this three-dimensional array. So what it is doing is it's printing the block. So it will take this block and then it will take this block uh, when we loop through it. But as a disclaimer, we should never iterate over the data in the NumPy. It is not meant for iteration. We have to vectorize the code and run in the parallelism. So uh, one important uh, thing is that I, I'm saying like uh, NumPy is faster than Python. That's, I have been saying this again. So let's see that how it is faster. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a list here from range. Uh, so that is for, uh, I think 10 million and then same what i'm doing is another list that i'm squaring it for 10 million so i'm importing the uh, time library so uh, time package so uh, what i'll do is i will uh, multiply both of this and using the lambda function and loop it each and value and then i'll run the through numpy array also so i'll multiply both of this and see the time difference what the time difference is coming so let me run this code okay perfect so you can see there is a big big difference actually uh the running the uh multiplying the list versus multiplying the numpy array and uh, when the size is millions so then this difference becomes huge and huge so and you can see it's 50 times actually uh faster so that is a huge, huge improvement. So what the reason behind the speed is NumPy is written in C, which is basically executed behind the scene. And NumPy is more compact than list and they take less storage space compared to list. So uh, this is all about the NumPy and I hope now you got get a good understanding on NumPy. And in the next video, we will go through pandas. This is that is also a very very important library. And uh, and thanks for watching this video. And also please subscribe to the to this channel so that I get a signal that uh, you like my video and you want more of these videos. And I'll be keep adding more video. And uh, I'm very excited because now we started the ML and AI programming, and there is more and more videos coming. Uh, thanks for watching.